What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another alt store, alt server video. I just wanted to do an updated version of this because uh, there is updates coming out and I uh, just wanted to cover some of the new stuff that it has going on and show you guys how it all works. So um, first off, I will be demoing this on iOS 15 and I am on Mac OS Monterey. So yes, alt store does work on the newest versions of Mac and also iOS. Of course, it does work on Windows as well. And a little bit of information here. So we'll go to uh, altstore.io. This is the official website here. Uh, this is supporting currently, I believe, um, iOS 14 and Mac OS Big Sur. Um, so if you guys are on iOS 14 or that, or you know Windows, uh, this is how you can get Altstore. Also, there is an FAQ here. More information, so if you guys you know, are on Windows, just read this uh, information here. You need to make sure that you have iTunes directly from Apple and iCloud directly from Apple, and it should work on your Windows computer, no issue. Like I said, if you want more information, just read the FAQ. Now it's really quite simple. From here, we can just download the Mac version or the Windows version, but I'm also going to show you guys that it does work, like I said, on iOS 15 and Mac OS Monterey. Now the way you get access to this beta stuff is through the developer's Patreon. So unfortunately that's the only way you can get these newest versions. Um, but just take note, the versions that I'm gonna be showing you that are in beta will be available for everyone in the future. I just wanted to show some of the cool stuff that there, that's going on with it. So just keep that in mind in the future, uh, the version that I am showing you will be available. And of course, if you guys want to try out the beta stuff, just check out uh, the Patreon for Riley. I'll leave the uh, links down in the description for both the website and the page, uh, Patreon. So now you can just go ahead and download it. I've already downloaded this version right here, which is alt server uh, Mac OS. This is 1.5 beta 5 Mac OS. I've already installed it. And uh, once you install it, it's pretty straightforward. It just goes into your applications. As you can see right there, there is uh, alt server right there. And of course, I've put that into my dock as well. Now, the next thing you need to make sure that you have is the mail plugin. So I will show you guys this real quick. So if we go into mail and we go into preferences, and then we go into the mail plugins at the bottom here, as you can see, there is the alt plugin mail bundle. You must have this checked on in order for alt server to work. So you must have this enabled in order for it to work. So just make sure you do that and uh, it should work as it should. The next thing you need to do is go to your device. Mine is connected via Wi-Fi, but you might need to plug your device into your computer to first set this up because it will need to recognize your, your iPhone or iPad, whatever you're using. But just make sure you turn on show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi. This will allow you to do everything over your Wi-Fi and you don't have to have your device plugged into your computer. You just have to have your computer on with the mail application running or the mail plugin running. So that's basically how it works. So in a nutshell, what this allows you to do is to install um, applications that are not supported by the App Store. So third party IPAs, it's pretty straightforward. And like I said, it's pretty cool how it works. It's not, you know, completely independent of a computer, obviously. Uh, but once you first set this up and uh, you get it up and running, you technically don't need to plug it into your computer anymore. You just got to make sure that your computer is on, like I said, with the mail application running in the background. And that will allow you to do everything independently on your phone. Uh, but first off, to install Alt Store, you just select your device there and you can install Alt Store. As you can see, you can also sideload the .ipa from this option here, which an IPA is basically an application. So essentially it lets you install an application from there. And then as you can see, this is a new feature for the beta that I wanted to talk about is the JIT. Now I believe um, everyone calls it JIT. I'm not sure if that's you know proper, but uh, it, it enables JIT in certain applications. I believe like Dolphin would require this and Dolphin is like the GameCube emulator, I believe. Also Nintendo DS in the Delta application I believe is required uh, to have uh, JIT enabled. So this gives you the new ability to enable JIT. And as you can see, when I hover over my phone, 
it shows me which IPAs I can enable JIT in. So if I had Dolphin here, I could enable that. So that is a new feature, and that's one thing I wanted to point out about this. Uh, of course, you have other options here like launch at uh, login. I'd probably turn that on, honestly. That way, you, when you power up your computer, it's automatically you know, running. You could also do that with your mail application. So you just turn your computer on, and you're ready to go. Um, you can uninstall the mail plugin. You can check for updates. I don't think there is any. Nope. Just click that button to check for updates, pretty simple. And then you can just quit and then there's an about section there. So to install Alt Store, it's super easy. Just choose your device. And this is where you sign in with your Apple ID. Uh, no need to worry about anything. This is 100% safe. It's just using your Apple ID to sign the certificate of these applications, uh, which is just you know really quite slick if you ask me. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in real quick. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on install. And it should install onto my iPhone. I already have it on there, so it might be, you know, a little weird, but that's basically all you, you need to do. Um, also on iOS 14 and iOS 15, there is a weird bug where if you install an IPA, it might not show up on your device until you do a hard reboot. Uh, so if you install something and you don't see it anywhere, what you need to do on your iPhone is do a hard reboot or power it off and power it back on, whichever you like to do better. So I'm just going to do a hard reboot on my iPhone here. And uh, after it boots back up, it should show the applications that you have installed. Uh, that's It's a really annoying iOS 14 bug and it still persists in iOS 15. So we'll just go ahead and let it boot back up and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, we're booted back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my iPhone. And then at this point you should see the alt store application. Now I'm gonna quickly jump into my settings application because I have some custom icons here and we're gonna get bombarded with shortcuts, banners and notifications. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off real quick so that we don't see any of that. Just give me one second here. And let me find shortcuts okay we should be good so now at this point you should have like i said the alt store and uh you have your applications here and then you have your settings where make sure you're logged into your account here again this is going to be your apple id account and this is used uh, to sign and re-sign the certificates of the applications you have installed i am of course a part of the patreon so it allows me to try out the betas at all times and then there's also the background refresh option here. Now I don't really need this because I have a developer account and my apps are signed for one full year. So I don't really need that, uh, but you guys are definitely gonna wanna leave this on because it's going to automatically refresh your certificate on your applications um, by itself. But again, this is dependent that your computer is on, the alt server is running, and the mail application is running as well. So as long as those are all up and running, this will do it automatically when you're at home at a certain point. So you don't even have to think about it. You don't have to worry about the, the applications getting revoked or anything like that. And of course, there's more information here, uh, but that's pretty much it. So how it works, like I said, is it just lets you install applications that aren't allowed in the App Store, which is really quite slick. So I'm going to just demo PPSSPP real quick and show you guys how I can install a, place, a PSP emulator on my iPhone. So here is the IPA. Like I said, all you gotta do is find the download for an IPA and you can install it. That's all it's dependent upon is you need to find that IPA. And as you can see, I'm doing this in Chrome. I'm not doing it in Safari or anything like that. So I'm just gonna click on the IPA and there is the download. So I'm gonna click on download in Chrome and once you've downloaded it, um, it'll give you the option to open it in the alt store. This will be the same as in Safari as well. So we'll do open in and then just choose alt store. So as soon as you open an IPA uh, file into alt store, it will install it using your Apple ID certificate. And for those of you that don't have a developer account, that will be for seven days. Uh, that is basically how it works. And again, like I said, I have a paid 
developer account that costs uh, $100 per year and that allows me to sign my apps for one for year but for everybody else that doesn't have a paid developer account it will be signed for seven days and after seven days basically the app won't work anymore uh, unless you let alt store resign it automatically or reinstall it that's basically how this works so there you go there is PPSSPP. now i've already had this on my phone before so it should just be the same application and all my files should hopefully still be in there at least all the games that i had because oh this is hard to do sideways yes all my games are still in there that's amazing um and that's set up in my file system that's a whole nother thing but as you can see i have pps spp on my iphone i could select like gran turismo and start playing that game right now uh, if you guys want more information about pps spp just search my channel i've done videos on it uh, but that's basically how it works and now i have a third party application that is not normally allowed on an iphone and again like i mentioned this is on ios 15 and it works perfectly fine so again, here is Delta, uh, an amazing emulator for Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. This works on iOS 15 as well. And again, I'm doing this on Mac OS Monterey beta as well. So I'm on all the newest and greatest stuff and it is up and running, which is super cool. Again, like I said, I'll leave all of the links down in the description for you guys to check out. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.